Hello. Well, today I have a an announcement uh, that uh, I have a new book out. Um, it's called Happy Holidays. It's a crime uh, book, uh, mystery, you know, that kind of thing. And I kind of wanted to try to put like horror elements in a way sort of more psychological in a sense. Um, though I'm not sure that translated too well, but the, the attempt was there, so it might have just... <laughs> um, in that, though, for the Amazon, I do not have horror or anything, though I'm able to put, like, you know, mystery, crime, like, suspense, thriller, whatnot. Um... So those are all able to be there, but um, <clears throat> I also wanted to sort of be like the serial killers of like real life, because that's what it kind of is. Somebody's going out shooting, stabbing, and harming people, and then not all of them die, but there are those who do die. Um, so there's detectives. They're primarily homo homicide, but with the nature of many of the people who are attacked it's also possible that it could be a homicide case and so you know um and i try to do my best to be as accurate to how real life would be like with forensics and with the coroner and stuff though so coroner isn't always there it could be like showing up or at some point as the main characters uh are gone now like they've assess the scene, talk to people they need to talk to, and might have evidence collected that then they'll take, or the forensics will take, whatnot, all that. And I had to make sure as I was writing, I actually would go back and forth, even though you would usually do this during the primarily editing process to make sure it's all good. Um, like things with grammar and all that, but I would, imp I, would imp uh, <clears throat> I would put things in certain chapters and then I would have to go back and fix things here and there and just make sure it's all good. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I do not have a copy of the book right now, but uh, I will uh, <clears throat> have the picture of the cover right here. So yeah, and there's typewriter there because um <clears throat> that's a thing in the book. Um you know, there are letters like like the Zodiac Killer or Jack the Ripper or some other people who have you know, killed people, maimed people, and yet they've left letters or something for the police and or media to uh uh, get and uh, it's like they're taunting them basically and so I always knew where this the, the book was always going to go it's just then as the author I know how all this is going to work yet then I'm like well for the readers it's like, is this all going to work out in the end will it all make sense and um, that's something that I'm like I don't know up in the air it's just like I wanted to try to leave certain clues, though, about who it is, but who knows, and if it all, when it all comes together, if it all makes sense, because that's a thing where you want to, because that's like I'm having the book being from the perspective of multiple characters, you know, there's the detective side, and there's a couple characters who we see their various lives, and one seems to be suspicious of in one way, and but there's relation to this other character, who just generally like runs a store basically, and uh, like there's a connection there, and <clears throat> I and I just want there to also just be, you see the lives of these people, you know, the detectives, yeah, they do 
um, <clears throat> are focused on the case more, whereas these other characters, you're kind of seeing, like, how people are reacting to them. Like, to, like, the <clears throat> hearing about the crimes as well as just going on a day-to-day -day life and talking about mundane stuff. Um, I know not everybody likes that, but, you know, I figured, you know, because it's a book, I'll probably get away with that and people will like, be fine with that more. Um, but with, uh, <clears throat> like if this was ever turned into a movie or something of the sort, unless it's like a mini series, <laughs> which if that ever happened one day, I would want to be a part of that, obviously, for sure. So that way I could help out. But I don't know if that will ever happen, but you never know. Um, um, and one thing about this is I noticed that the prices of things, sorry about the camera moving, but the prices of things had to go up. And I was also trying to improve on this, but I'm not really able to because uh, the formatting of everything like this, like the, I noticed how like the, there's no page numbers, which was really an annoyance. And I always wanted that put in, but I kept seeing uh, that uh, when Amazon would format this, because <clears throat> um, this book, just like short stories, as well as uh, this current book I wrote, Happy Holidays, I made sure to put the uh, correct format that Amazon wants for, uh, you know, for like the height and width. So that way, you know, they could, it's probably formatted and all is good. But unfortunately, um, uh, because I didn't do that with this one first, because it's my first book and I was pretty inexperienced <laughs> about that and uh, about how to do it uh, kind of thing. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I was trying to, make it all make sense and work but I didn't but in the process of obviously putting this book up on Amazon I found out but then also in the process like I gotta have to change uh, um, the prices though for the ebooks I've kept those the same as they had been before but you know paperbacks and such you know that was a different story um like the paperback of the wandering sheriff is now ten dollars and 1635 for the hard cover and uh for downtime at work conversations three short stories um uh paperback is now 1350 and the hardcover is seventeen thirty-five. Um, the ebook version of this is two ninety-nine. Um, this the ebook for this is uh, three ninety-nine. Um, so yeah, I just kind of updated that because that's a thing, you know, for royalties. You know, you want to have. You want to charge appropriately for these kind of, for this kind of stuff. And I obviously wanted to charge appropriately. Um, 200, uh, 250 pages. This is, uh, uh, 200 pages. For some reason that happened. I don't know why. Kind of odd, but... I added a, about the author there, so that's kind of an interesting thing. I could probably always fix that, but I've just never done so on this. But, yeah, so I updated that, and also, I obviously, you know, you want to get paid for royalties. So, But I wanted to up them because things have changed since then. So, like, the in terms of, like, for physical copies like this, it's now increased for the making of the prints and the 
like the covers and the actual inside of the book and all that. So that's all kind of all that is obviously over the years um, has increased. And uh, this went this current book that I wrote went live on uh, September 4th. I am filming this video Friday, so you might see this up on Friday or perhaps uh, Saturday. I don't know. It's also quite, it's like about midnight right now, so hence why it's Friday. But, so I will head to bed soon. But, yeah. Try to reformat this properly, but, yeah. Because that, that's the thing. I wanted to try to get this try to fix it but I can't because I never started this out and properly formatted because again I didn't you know you had to format it a particular way um but you know I have learned so this one in happy holidays this book um are formatted correctly there is no issue there so whenever I get a copy of this I I'll probably obviously show it in my hand, but so the price for the ebook is seven ninety nine for the ebook. I think I believe that was the cheapest you could set it at. So now for uh, the paperback, it's nineteen fifty, so about twenty dollars. Um, there's no hardcover version of this book because, um, yeah, apparently for Amazon, there's a maximum of 550 pages to have a hardcover. So these can have hardcovers because, you know, they're uh, under that. But, you know, when I reformatted this correctly, it was... Uh, over 600 pages and this book is over 600 pages but yeah and also with that is like there's a lot of blank pages and i'd have to try to fix all that but that was if it was how it was and plus it would be alignment was off and everything like the font and everything was a lot bigger and that was another issue it's like you know i can read this fine but there might be some people who you know you know Obviously, I might have to wear glasses, obviously, but it could also be a little too, just in general, too uh, small. And so I'm like, I wanted to try to update it, but I, I'm finding I'm not <laughs> able to because the problem is I've not been able to, uh, I've just not been able to, I guess, from... <laughs> Since that all started, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, just wanted to, you all to know about my new book and the prices uh, of it from the ebook and the paperback, <clears throat> um, as well as the updated prices of uh, these two books. So if you're interested at all, I mean, if anything, you could probably get uh, these two perhaps on uh, uh ebook so through a kindle <clears throat> if you're interested and then uh you know if you have that many people do I, but there are some who don't and that's all fine but yeah there are all all three are all available in paperback but these two because they are a shorter length um <clears throat> are also in hardcover not everybody is into that, so that's all fine. But anyway, figured I should uh, make a video now. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully I'll upload it today, <laughs> on Friday, you know, make, uh, September 6th, just so it's out there. And um, yeah. Anyway, hope this is all fine. Uh, hope they, that, that little synopsis of what the books about uh, <clears throat> was good because I don't know I've been thinking about this ever since I 
really finished the book and and everything and then started getting ready because I'm like I probably should make a video about it to at least announce that I've got a new book um but yeah uh, try to implement horror elements but I could have failed but hopefully the story and the characters are engaging enough that you know if you don't find anything overtly horrific uh in the book beyond perhaps certain crimes being committed um you'll at least uh, hopefully be engaged if you choose to buy it as well as these you know this is you know this book is just three st short stories just random stories that i had in my head that i just kind of wanted to uh do people just talking about stuff and this is a western set in the 1880s and it's a revenge story basically so yeah anyway hope you're all doing well hope your week has been great hope all of uh, you are having a great day hope your weekend is also great or going great uh again whichever day i uh, will post this on uh, hopefully it will go great <laughs> regardless so anyway hope you're all well please take care and i'll see you all next time bye